Today we are going to be writing the methods to perform updates on the API. In the previous tutorial, we wrote the method to insert an item or insert a record into the list of items. So today we are going to write a method to make an update to the list of items. Remember there are four methods, get, post, put and delete. So today we are looking at the put operation. The put operation has to do with modifying an existing record. So if you give the ID of this record and you give the changes you want to make, the changes are going to be updated on that particular record. So let's go ahead to do it. Remember, this is a procedure based tutorial. All the procedures, the step by step, the code snippets you need, they are all here for you. Uh, the, the link to this uh, page is in the description box below this video. I want to remind you to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below. Uh, so that you get notifications when a new lesson uh, is made and also it kind of motivate me to continue making these lessons so click on that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel if you have any questions challenges building application not just in spring but any any challenge you have in programming or databases or computer science just let me know in the in the in the in the comment box below this video as well all right so the first one we are going to write update method for the uh, location so if you are writing this update method we are writing a piece of code in the controller file and a piece of code in the business service so we have location controller and we have location service so we are going to first start uh, first of all we are going to go to the controller file and we are going to write a method to update location so for you to update a location, you need the ID of the location to update and you need the changes you need to make. That changes have to be a new location, have to be replaced, more like you are replacing existing one. So let's uh, try to write it and let's see how it goes. So let's start by saying public uh, void because if you update you are not returning anything so let's call it update location and now we have to get the request body uh, the, the location the new uh, location from the request body just like the, we are inserting a new one we are going to get the updates we need to make so let's put this here and then we need the ID of the of the location we want to or, or, or update so in that case we are going to get this from the path variable so we are going to get the up changes from the the request body and from the path variable we are going to get the id of this location so we are also going to put this annotation here the, the path variable annotation so i'm going to shift this all the way so that you, you can see it clearly all this actually uh, is written here, so I'm just writing it so that you understand exactly what is happening. Now we simply say location service dot update location, and this time we are giving it the ID and the location. So two items are needed to make an update. So what are we forgetting? Okay, we need request mapping. So request mapping is going to be this time we are going to we are going to take this because we are making this request uh, up, update to just a particular item, and that is going to be uh, the same like we are making a get get a particular item and then update it. And then what else uh, we need the method this time with the method is not going to be get it's not going to be post it's going to be put so method is equal to request method dot put so this is how it is going to be in the controller file and now we've not written the business service I'm going to create if you if you if you look at this place you can see uh, create update location in the location service all right so we have now a stop for creating the uh, to update the location so what we are going to do we are going to look through the locations and then find the location with uh, this given ID if we find it we simply replace it with this new location here so let's start a follow for 
int i is equal to zero, i is less than locations dot size. Now we say i plus plus. All right. So we are now going to say, I mean, make some room, I'll make some room so that it's a, a bit clear. So we can say if uh, if if locations dot sorry yes so so let's declare a new location location l is a oh, sorry yes l is equal to locations dot get i. So at every iteration, we get the location at that particular point, and then the next thing we are going to do is we say if if this particular location at this point l dot get get id l dot get id dot equals uh, the past thing id, okay. So if is equal to the past in ID, we simply replace the set and we simply replace location at index i with the, this particular location that has been passed in. Let's take out this. So location. All right. So this is actually what we do. So you can copy it and paste it if you want. So this is what we are doing. We are actually looping through. If we find this location, we simply replace it with the location we have because this location in the parameter represents the updated location we want to use to update existing location so let's quickly do the same thing for the users and also for the posts so let's go to the user user controller this time i'm simply going to copy and paste it in there so i'm going to copy the uh, the update user and paste it into the the, uh, so this should be location controller, not user controller. So I'm going to copy this, the update user method, and place it in the user controller. All right, so this is, what, what's, what do we have here? So I'm going to just take all this, I think. So I'm going to paste it in here. So I think. Yeah, so it's actually update user, not get user, update user, all right? So update user, update user, and then we go to copy the same thing and paste in the user service. So I'm going to open user service because the procedure is here. Similarly, as you can see, add the user update user method in the user service file as shown. So this is user service. I'm going to paste this code in the control V and paste it. So finally, for the update posts, I'm going to copy the update posts and place in the uh, post controller. So I'm going to open post controller and I'm simply going to paste the code for update posts. And I'm also going to paste the same code. So uh, basically, all these codes are similar codes as I explained. For the first one, in case of location, all of them are similar. So I'm going to paste uh, for update posts, I'm going to paste in the in the post service, I'm going to just paste it there. I hope this is clear. If it's not clear, uh, let me know in the comment box. I'm going to save everything and we are going to test it to make sure it works. So in this case, I'm going to maximize this window and then I'm going to simply right click and run as a Spring Boot application. Run as a Spring Boot uh, application. So we are, if we are fortunate, everything runs, and if you look at the console, you can see that Tomcat started uh, successfully, and it means we can go to the. This time we are using REST uh, Advanced REST Client, so so I have it already installed, and I'm sure by now you also have it installed. So we want to make an update to existing uh, data. All right, so let's start with, let's say, locations. Locations, all right. So let me make a get request first. Oh, sorry, yeah, get request to locations. <coughs> Stop this. So get request to locations gets the locations, uh, as you can see. Now, we are going to make a put request to 
this time we are going to change location L1 we are going to change it from Lagos to somewhere else so let me copy we are going to specify the request body to be the update that you want to make so I'm going to paste this and I'm going to now change Lagos I'm going to change it to Kintons Kintons Town I, I, I don't know this does not exist so now the request body is the update and the path variable this parameter here is a the, the ID of the location you want to update and then you change the method to put so I'm going to send this request and if everything is fine you can see 200 okay so to check if everything went fine I'm going to go back to make a get request to locations and let's check if everything works so you can see that this first location has changed now to kind songs town so that is how it works so you can on your own test the remaining tool for users and for posts test it using advanced arrest client and make sure you understand how it works also try to make sure you type in these codes by yourself and that way you get, get used to writing programs and later it's actually going to be easier because i'm taking you through the hard way yeah there's actually a way you can do it without writing all these codes but you need to know it, uh, how it works for now i'm going to thank you for viewing remember to subscribe and also like this video it's been informative for you.